This is the Kokoda Force 7. Now, it has a bunk layout, and Kokoda tells me that its family customers absolutely love it. So we'll have a look around and we'll step inside because I think you're gonna like this layout as well. Now, we've got Trevor Price who owns Kokoda. We've got his family along. We're having a great day out, so I'm gonna sit down and have a chat with Trevor to find out more about this caravan. So I'm with Trevor Price, the owner of Kokoda, and uh, Trevor, what can you tell me about the Force 7? Oh, Force 7 is a family, family van, so two or three bunks. Uh, full island bed, 21 foot, full off-road. Anywhere the four-wheel drive can go? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay. Mainly we use an Alco um, Enduro X full off-road with a two-inch riser as well. And some of the features? Cool, so we've got the, the island bed, got a, a big kitchen with a angled bench top there. So lots of bench space, lots of drawer space. So like a long trip away, really matches in with all the stuff you want to take. I really, really like the angled kitchen because it makes such good use of the available space. It gives you more bench space. You've got the full oven, the cooktop, the griller, and just loads of storage as well. Especially the good thing is with the angled space is the, the deep part of the back, really good for a coffee machine and stuff like that. Doesn't take up the extra bench space you want to use. And what about your 12 volt system? Yeah, so you got a BM Pro system in it. You got two solar panels, so you got 340 watts of solar and you got uh, two 100 amp AGMs. So that's a fairly decent system really for a bit of free camping and your water storage. Yeah, two 95 litres of water um, and it comes with a 40 litre portable grey water as well. And when you're building these caravans, you're using the traditional Maranti timber framing setup with yep. some composite aluminium. Yep. Um, any trade secrets? Uh, uh, no, we just we just do things tried and true, so things that are going to make sure going to last. Uh, we do a lot of sealing to make sure it's all sealed really well. One thing I like about this layout, Trevor, is just how balanced it feels. There's room for the kids at the back, room for the parents up the front, but we're sitting here now and we're quite comfortable. Yeah, it's really good space, 21 foot, so it's, it's not a huge van, but it feels big inside. And you've also got that fantastic bathroom in the corner. The separate shower and toilet definitely makes a, a good difference. Um, but what sort of warranty do you offer? Yeah, so you got a three year warranty, Australia wide. So if you go on a trip and you're out back somewhere WA or Northern Territory, you find someone who can repair it, you can go to them, we'll deal direct and make sure they're all fixed up. So you'll deal directly with the uh, repair yourself? Yeah, yep, make it as easy on the customer as we can. So a few options on this van? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one, this one's made for a family to go off grid and off road and sometimes they'll cycle through a caravan park. That's got the um, caravan dust pressurizer, so reduce the dust in the van. We've got the washing machine in the back there, some 12 volt fans, which are great in summer. And where does the Force 7 sit within the overall Force range? Yeah, it's probably the most popular as far as a long trip away. Um, so if you're gonna go away for significant time, like say three, six, nine, 12 months, because um, you've got the full island bed, so you're gonna be super comfortable and lots of storage in here. Um, sometimes a longer van doesn't get the same amount of storage. So it's, it's great from that point of view. So you get all that internal living space in an overall package that can go almost anywhere the four-wheel drive yeah. can go. It can sort of get through those tight tracks yeah. and that sort of thing. So you're not really restricted in where you're going to go, but you still have this generous living space. Yeah, that's right. Even coming up here, we had to do that U-turn and yeah. no problems at all. Good on you, Trevor. I appreciate the chat. Yeah, no worries. There really is a generous amount of storage space inside this kitchen. Obviously, you've got the overhead lockers, but look at this cupboard space under the sink. And let's not forget, you've also got this pantry right here. That's great for your sauces, your olive oil. And look at these drawers back here, they're really quite large. Now, Trevor mentioned that this van comes with the BM Pro battery management system, but I noticed that they've also fitted the BM Pro Mini Boost. This is a DC to DC charger, and effectively it boosts the amount of voltage coming off the car's alternator back to the van's batteries. So you get extra charge into the batteries while you're towing, while you're traveling to your destination. And I know from experience that these things work really, really well. Now we know the washing machine in this van is an option. Look, whether or not you chose to fit a washing machine, I think it's courses for courses, whether or not you think you'd use it. Nonetheless, there is still a generous amount of storage space back here for the kids' stuff. These bunks are great. You've got a Sirocco fan in each bunk, as well as a reading light that has a built-in USB charging point. You've got a couple of slide-out trays at the front of the caravan, one on the offside and one here on the near side. Now, this one I think is intended obviously for a portable fridge because Kokoda has included a 12 volt charging point right here. So you can plug your fridge in and let it run off the house batteries of the caravan. Now this 47, it has a tear weight of 2,820 kilos and the ATM rating is 3,500 kilos. Now it's an off-roader set up to go almost anywhere the four-wheel drive can go. You've got your DO35 coupling, your mesh stone guard, that fantastic Elko Enduro X suspension. And let's not forget, the layout on this caravan is an absolute winner. I mean, I love that angled kitchen. 